We believe a soldier's best friend next to his rifle is his combat boot. Current standard issue combat boots do not offer much protection against anti-personnel landmines. The BFR V50 combat boot, with its unique and revolutionary technology, is designed to provide soldiers with a measure of protection against anti-personnel landmines. It looks like your normal combat boot on the outside, strong, flexible, light and comfortable. The difference can only be seen if you were so unfortunate as to step on an anti-personnel landmine such as the ones used in our blast tests. As every soldier knows, stepping on an anti-personnel landmine will almost certainly result in severe injury and probably death. The BFR V50 is designed to mitigate soft tissue and skeletal damage to the feet by deflecting blasts from certain common types of anti-personnel landmines. The Royal Military College of Science in the United Kingdom recently carried out independent blast tests on the BFR V50, which demonstrated a significant degree of effectiveness. The BFR V50 will provide better protection against anti-personnel landmines than standard boots. Before we watch the blast tests, let's look at the unique features of the BFR V50. First, there's the specially woven polyaramid fabric. Then, there is the specially constructed sole plate and heel plate end plug. Together, these give the BFR V50 the incredible underlying strength and capacity to deflect blast from certain types of anti-personnel landmines and thereby provide substantial protection against high velocity fragments, debris and hot gas stream. Even with this added protection system, the BFR V50 still weigh less than most standard combat boots. The tests we are about to see were carried out by the Royal Military College of Science in the United Kingdom in July of this year. The test was conducted under strict conditions against what we believe to be two of the most likely scenarios. Firstly, stepping on an anti-personnel landmine at the heel, and secondly, at the ball of the foot. In this blast test, we will see the BFR V50 boot with a PMA2 mine filled with 30 gram of PE4 explosive against the bore of the foot. This shows the BFR V50 boot after a 30 gram assault using the PMA body. This has been fired against the ball of the foot. The sole has not been breached. The stainless steel plate has departed, but leaving the twyron core intact. In this blast test, we will see the BFR V50 with a PMA2 mine filled with 50 gram of PE4 explosive against the heel. This shows the BFR combat boot after firing at the PMA2 body with 50 grams of PE4 under the heel. The heel has not been breached. There's damage to the upper areas, but the sole has survived. In this blast test, we will see the BFR V50 boot with a PMA2 mine filled with 50 gram of PE4 explosive against the ball of the foot. This is the PMA2 body filled with 50 grams of PE4 against the ball of the foot. And the BFR V50 boot sole has not been breached. The stainless plates have been displaced. And there's damage to the uppers. But the 
told is remain solid. In this blast test, we will see the BFR V50 boot with a PMA2 mine filled with 70 gram PE4 explosive against the heel. This is the BFR V50 boot. After the firing of 70 grams of PE4, the PMA2 body fired under the heel. The heel has not been breached. The reinforcing plates have been displaced, but the tire on is very much intact. The BFRV 50 is designed to be used as standard military issue. It offers soldiers the psychological comfort of knowing they are equipped with a measure of protection against anti-personnel landmines. So if you think your feet may be in harm's way, we believe you need look no further. With the BFRV50, the next step you take will be made safer. <laughs>